Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, we got something kind of cool. It's not often we can say we had fun at the bank. We went in today and we got some nickels. We don't know yet if they're uh, circulated or not. But the reason we had fun at the bank, you know, normally I'd rather be, you know, working on this collection or this collection. But when I went to the bank today, they had dollars. So I'm going to work on these collections. So even though there's no chance for silver or anything, there are still some cool things to hunt for. So if you're looking for small dollars, uh, of course you want the 1979P Susan B. Anthony with a wide rim. Uh, these are things that you'd want to be looking for, not that you'd have to want them. Uh, 1981, uh, all of them are kind of around 3 million, so they're low mintage. On the Sacagawea dollars, the 2002 through 08 are NIFCs. They were not intended for circulation or not issued for circulation. Uh, so 08 is the lowest minted with uh, 1.8 million. And then in from 2012 on, uh, the Native American dollars um, are super low mintage. So uh, and, uh, 2013 is the lowest of those. Um, but they continued on until it uh, passed uh, 2015. And then the presidential from 2012 on were NIFC. So I'll be looking for those. I got $200 worth of dollars. So, and it's going to be a mixture of uh, Sacagawea, Presidential, whatever. So, we'll see what we find. But what else made it fun at the bank today, besides this, whoops, was I got some $2 bills. So, this one was so close to being something with that serial number there, 12301322, but no dice. So, and this one's just kind of basic, but still, it's cool to do. And another one there, I always take whatever they got. And then she said, oh, did you want to take these? They have stamp on them. I said, sure, I'll take them. So, we'll check out uh, where's George. Uh, we'll put in the serial number, and we'll see uh, where George is, uh, where he's been. Even though this is not George, this is Thomas. So, uh, we'll see if it still works. <laughs> so... More coming up. A fun day at the bank. $200 worth of dollars. And this is, oops, this is the only presidential ender. And that's a real common one. There are some other errors to look for in the presidential one. Some of the, because the dates and all the other inscriptions are on the uh, edge of the coin, there are a few errors where things were missing or jumbled. So... Uh, we can do a deeper examination, but uh, for the most part, um, we're just going to be looking for the NIFCs and any kind of wide rim uh, 79s. So, oh, there's a, I see, all right, so that's cool. Let's do it. All right, so with the uh, Sacagawea, the 2000D you can pretty much ignore, but... For the 2000P, there's a couple varieties to look for. Um, there's the uh, Cheerios dollar, which has got the boldly detailed tail feathers. Uh, they would have some striking, like, crosshatch, almost like a bow and arrow type feather on the back. And then there's, like, the Good Acre finish. So these are none of the above, but still worth checking out. Uh, and that's in the 2000P. Um, and so these are the Susan B. Anthony. And um, I don't uh, have any uh, examples of any wide rim to show you. And then some presidential dollars, just run-of-the-mill stuff here. And no NIFCs. This one was very nice uh, condition, so I'll uh, replace what's in my book, I think, with this one. So, let's do the next roll.
All right, here we are after the second roll of eight. And the other uh, thing I forgot to mention the check for on the 2000P Sacagawea is the uh, Speared Eagle. So there's, uh, if you do have the variety in the breast of the eagle, there's a, like a die crack or whatever. So there's a line running through there and they call it the Speared Eagle. So there's three varieties to look for in 2000. I did get a 2002P, which is cool. That's low er minted. So first of the NIFCs. So that's cool. Oh, and then I got uh, just the regular run-of-the-mill presidentials here. Got uh, some decent condition, but nobody, uh, no NIFCs in those yet. But I think I might have gotten a wide rim 79. That's a P. And that does look awfully close there. So I got to check again and double check and all that. But to me, I think it is. Anyway, here we are after the third roll of 10. We got a hole in the head. We got some S coins here. This one might be a proof, and that uh, filled S or clear S would apply, but I'll have to double check those. A lot of 2000 D Sacagaweas, a bunch of P's, but no speared eagle or other varieties. Got some O1s. Got one NIFC. There's about 3.8 million of these, I guess, a 2002 P. Not bad. And then we did get, this is a wide rim 79P. M, near date, whatever you want to call it. So that's cool. It's not in the greatest condition, but still cool to have one. And just the other requisite uh, presidentials. So let's do roll four. Right after four, still pretty much the same with the presidentials, nothing uh, past Madison, or that past 08s anyway. Uh, a couple more 01 Sacagaweas, and a crap ton of 2000 Ds, so, and possibly another proof, we'll see, have to check those. So, uh, not much. All right, so we got five rolls done, and I uh, kind of forgot I, on the last one I had a, kind of a cool, uh, almost like a Woody um, 2000P, and so I don't know if this is one of the satin ones that's also Woody-ish. No Cheerios, unfortunately, but uh, checking for those, of course. And also Speared Eagle, but none of the above. And then I do have this one, which is very, very shiny. And it is a 2000P, and so that is in the territory for the Good Acre finish. So I don't know really what to look for, except for a shiny coin. I guess it's kind of, I don't think it's quite uh, mirror enough. It might just be a very well-struck 2000p but most of the other 2000ps are kind of a little rough looking so has me wondering there are supposedly 5,000 of these some literature says there's only 300 but or 3,000 but I see 5,000 in my books so anyway it is pretty cool so three rolls to go, but uh, yeah, pretty much all we found so far is that uh, wide uh, rim 79, which is pretty cool, I think. I'm pretty convinced it is the right one. So that is cool. Probably worth about six bucks, I guess, maybe four bucks. Something like that. If it was in better condition, we'd have something. Alright, down to the last two rolls, but uh, after, what do we have here, six rolls down, I'm shocked. We're still no new 
coins. There's no O nines, hardly any, like not a complete run of the O eights. We just keep getting the same ones over and over. I don't get it. So there's some decent quality ones in there, but and I did, uh, whoops, I did finally get another 79P, so we can compare the wide rim and the narrow rim. And there we have it. So this is wide rim. Cool. So that's really the only find so far. Uh, oh, I did get a 99, but big whoop, I'd rather have the 81. That's the more rare one so this is still cool though all right so after seven rolls pretty much the same story just added to the stacks no new coins and we're down to the last one so let's check it kadoka after eight rolls and we're all done now so it's weird, these rolls must be 10 years old because there are no coins older than the 2008 um, release. And there's only like two of them uh, from the 08. So very strange that uh, there's no 09s, 10s, uh, what have you, because those uh, should be plentiful. Um, I did get a wide rim 79P. Potential good acre, I don't know. Um, uh, it's very shiny. Here's some other good condition 2000 P's, but this one here's just got a different, I don't know, I have to have it checked out. And then I got a NIFC, uh, 2002. P and that is cool. So that's about it. Uh, the rest is all. Oh, and I got a 99, but no 81s. So it was cool to get these. Um, it was kind of unexpected. I didn't really ask for them. The bank teller said, "Oh, I have dollars if you want." I'm like, "Sure." So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, and if we find more, we'll do this again. Until next time, coin sense and nonsense. Bye bye. Oh, wait a minute, though. I almost forgot uh, we had our Where's George thing. I think it's uh, some kind of a spam thing or something. I don't know. I got some weird uh, pop up and whatever on my phone after I tried entering this. So, uh, the heck with it. Maybe it's a cool tracking thing for someone, but it's probably just got all my information now. Who knows? But they're st stamped on anyway, so phooey. So, until next time, bye-bye.